Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in this video, I'd like to continue on our previous video and show you how to, uh, some of the steps involved in regard to making modifications to our title block. But uh, first things first, let's go ahead and clarify paper sizes. What we're going to be doing in our class is going to be taking advantage of our printer, our plotter actually, which uh, allows us to plot uh, what we call full size drawings. And uh, the plotter, the, the size of drawings we're going to be creating are 24 by 36 inch, which I believe is the size of the drawing right now, and that is architectural D size uh, paper. I uh, may have mentioned ANSI D size in a previous video, but ANSI D size isn't quite correct. ANSI D is 22 by 34. There are a lot of different sizes. If you just type in paper size as a search option when you go to Google, it'll. Uh, Wikipedia is a really good resource for that. There's a lot of ANSI and architectural sizes. ANSI is more related to, uh, to engineering drawings. As an electrical design engineer, Danny Yakimo used the NZD size, a 34 by 22 inch uh, sheet. But here for the lab, since we're doing architectural work here, and you're going to be dealing with a lot of architectural drawings in your career at CWU, we're going to use the architectural D size, which is a 36 by 24 inch piece of paper. So, let's check our, because I haven't done this, let's go ahead and check this and make sure that we do have the right size paper. And one way to do this is just click on these dimensions, just like we've done before, and uh, maybe move these around a little bit, and just to see what the size is. Okay, so that's 36 across the top, and that looked like it made itself a permanent dimension, just like anything in Revit architecture, whether it's a family group, even uh, dealing with paper uh, like this, uh, doing a sheet template, uh, the, the dimension is still pretty much the same. So it's 36 across the top. Oop. Uh. Let's move that one over. That's 24 inches. So this is this is definitely ANSI uh, D or architectural D size. Okay, enough said. Let's go ahead and save this. Now uh, we save this in a file. We'd like to probably keep our uh, original file intact. So let's go ahead and do that by saving this in a different place with a different name. So if you go to our application menu, go to Save As as we would typically do. You can't save it as a project now because it really isn't a project, but it is a family. His family, we can load back into a project. Let's take it out of that folder and put it in a folder of our choice. So um, I have a couple different uh, already some title blocks I already created here uh, with a backup file here with a dot zero 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 one RFA file. So I'll call it uh, something uh, in addition to that, uh, ED and I, and uh, just name it just a little bit differently. You're going to uh, find a, a location of your choosing. And we did this with AutoCAD too, if you remember. We created a spot for our AutoCAD uh, drawing templates. Do the same thing here. Just find it, put it in a place so you can find it. So what I have is my prep folder or a class folder with the different weeks in here. I like to have it in the top part of the hierarchy here so I can find it. So I don't have to dig into a different folder to try to find it. I have it right out here. So when I go into each one of these weeks, I can go into those weeks and find specific projects. But with a title block template like this, it's probably good for any of the weeks I may choose here. So I'm going to have it on top of the hierarchy. Gosh, enough said. Sorry to bore you about that. Let's go ahead and save it. All right, now we need to make some modifications. So what we're going to be doing is make some modifications to this that are going to be relevant to uh, our, you know, our projects here in this uh, specific class. But before I get into that, because it's going to take a little bit of time, let me go ahead and close this video, and we'll pick this up on the next one, okay? Thanks.